Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework. So today we've got an ugly indefinite integral. We have the indefinite integral of x cubed over the square root of x squared plus 25. So when you first look at it, you see this square root of a squared plus, or x squared plus a squared, and you think trig substitution, but then look around, because we don't simply have a one or a dx up there, it's or even an x, we have an x cubed. I really think we're gonna try trig substitution with this. So when we do that, we're gonna say, all right, first of all, let's rewrite this before I even get started. This x cubed, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with x cubed, but what I want to do is make an x squared. So I'm gonna rewrite this as the def indefinite integral of x squared all over the square root of x squared plus 25 times x dx. And I've seen patterns like this before, and that's going to help us when we get to our dx when we're substituting and using u substitution. Okay, so let's do that u substitution now. Let's talk about what I mean. So I'm going to let u be that crap under the radical. That's what we always let u be. That's not anything new to us. u equals x squared plus 25, making du, the derivative of u, equal to 2x dx. Okay, and I might as well do this right now. I'm gonna need dx. I don't have a 2x dx, so I need dx equals, well, du over 2x, right? Du over dx. Um, oh, du, sorry, du over 2x, uh, if you divide 2x. <laughs> or you could rewrite this as one over 2x dx, and that's gonna be nice because my x's are gonna cancel when I pop that in. Okay. So is there anything else I need? Well, I do, I have an x squared up here. So, and I have an x squared here with u. So if I subtract 25 from both sides, I'm gonna see that x squared is equal to u minus 25. Okay, so now I can plug absolutely everything in. So let's start doing that. So let's say that I am now going to just plug in, all right. So let's do that. I'm just making sure there's nothing else I really want to do. So my x squared is u minus 25 all over there, all over the square root of u. So far, so good. Times, well, my x cancels, so I get 1 half du. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave that like that. I'm going to for sure pull that out. Okay, so 1 half, remember we always take out that constant multiplier. So one half, and now u minus 25 all over square root of u du. Okay, all right, that actually looks like somewhere I can go. I can definitely do something with this. Let's break this up though. Let's take this, um, this one big fraction, make it two. So we're gonna say one half, and we're gonna say u over the square root of u, which is gonna be u to the one half, we're gonna use that soon, minus, 25 over the square root of u, all du, right? Don't forget our du. I am infamous for losing du's. Don't lose it if I do, okay? So I like that. Now we're gonna say, well, this u is really a u to the negative one half because it's in the denominator. So let's bring it up. So let's say, whoops, I forgot my one half. Let's put that there, equals one half. And so I'm. I, let's just write it out. u to the first, so really two, two, you know, two over two, u to the negative one half, right, minus 25 u to the negative one half du. Okay, got that from bringing up anything in the, any exponent in the denominator is negative, so u to the negative one half, u to the negative one half. Okay, cleaning this up again, let's move this down so you can follow me right along. Sorry about the shake. So we get one half, right, and so we're coming from here, so two over two minus one over two is simply u to the one half, right? So u to the one half minus 25, well, I've got this negative one half du. So I really didn't clean up very much there. Okay, so let's talk about integrating. I can, there's nothing here I can't integrate. So we're gonna go ahead and in, integrate this. I'm gonna keep my little squiggly. Okay, so one half, now we make it a hard bracket because we're actually doing some integration here. So one half plus one is u to the three halves all over two thirds. Oh, actually, sorry, all over three halves. I was 
flipping it before I was multiplying it. Don't do that yet. Okay, minus 25u to the, well, let's see, well, that's just going to be 1 half, negative 1 half plus 1, all divided by 1 half. And are we good? Well, we'll have a plus c, but I'm going to clean this up way more before I get to that. All right, so let's do this. Now I'm going to take this 3 halves that's in the denominator and actually multiply it as a 2 thirds. So I'm going to get 1 half out here. And I think I'm going to just say times 2 thirds. I'm going to take this 1 half and distribute it throughout. U to the 3 halves minus, remember my 1 half is coming here for the ride. Remember I have to distribute to everything. So 25 over 2. Uh, no, 50 over 2. Because remember, I've got this 1 half down here. So let's write it all out. Let's say uh, 50 over 2 because when I take... 1 half in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by 2. So 50 over 2u to the 1 half. So far, so good. I, I like how that looks. Okay, we're going to divide out our 2s here, and we're going to get a 1 third that's attached to the u to the 3 halves. Great. Minus 25u to the 1 half. Okay, you know the drill at this point. We didn't have u when we started this problem. We can't have u when we finish this problem, so we have to substitute in for u. Let's remember that u was equal to x squared plus 25, and let's put it in. Okay, so let's bring this down a little bit more. Thanks, Allie, for sending this problem in. You always send problems that take up my whole board. So we have 1 third, and we have x squared plus 25, to the 3 halves power minus 25 uh, x squared plus 25 to the 1 half power. I'm going to make that a square root. Put that over 3. Get rid of this thing. Uh, x squared plus 25 all to the 3 halves all over 3 minus 25 times the square root of x squared plus 25. I could factor that, but I'm not going to because I don't think it helps us. I think I'm going to leave it like that. There will be equivalent forms of the answer that don't particularly look like that. Uh, it just depends on how much your teacher wants you to clean it up. But that should work. So something that looked like it might have been a trig substitution, and it actually wasn't. We just did a regular use substitution for this. I hope this helped. Please put comments or questions in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. So when you send a problem this horrible in, I'll do that one too.